one of the ways in which Studio One really scores over its competitors is its support for hardware integration. Um, we support pretty much every major manufacturer, keyboards, control surfaces, you name it. And uh, you can just find whatever you have on the list here and add it very easily. However, if you have uh, a keyboard that's not directly supported, it's very easy to add it um, to the system. All I've got to do is make a simple new keyboard. And uh, when I go here, I can see it comes up in my hardware field. And here's the factory in my hardware field. Now, this is the Arturia factory is not understood directly by Studio One, so it doesn't know what's happening. But all I have to do is press MIDI Learn, and now every time I turn a knob on my keyboard, the parameters will automatically be learned into Studio One. And uh, here, the last four here should be faders, so let's just turn those into faders. And now we have a complete model of the control panel of my keyboard. So once that's done, then anything I turn here is represented directly inside Studio One. So any piece of hardware can be very, very quickly integrated. But how does that work with my plugins? Well, also very easy. Let's open a plugin. Here's my Mojito uh, bass synthesizer. Perhaps I'd like this cutoff knob on the software plugin to be attached to the filter cutoff knob here in the hardware. So all I have to do is move this knob here in Studio One in the software and we'll see here, filter cutoff for Mojito is in my left panel. I move the control one knob here in the factory, and it's moved here. And all I have to do is press the lock button. And now my hardware knob is locked to my software knob. It's that easy. And I can do that with any knob or any parameter. Um, perhaps the ADSR here, I'd like to have that mapped to the ADSR in the factory. I'll move my ADSR in software. I move my ADSR slider here. And now that attack slider in the hardware is mapped to the attack slider in the software. So I can do that for any of my controls, any plugin. Perhaps I would like to control a second plugin with my hardware. How do we do that? I'm going to open my presence uh, polysynth here. And here's presence. I would like to control the filter cutoff and presence with the filter control on my keyboard. Same thing. I move the cutoff knob here in software. And here it is. And I move the cutoff knob in my hardware, and then I lock them together. And now my hardware cutoff knob is controlling the software cutoff in presence. And it's no longer controlling Mojito. But if I bring Mojito to the forefront, you'll see that now it controls Mojito and doesn't control presence. In other words, my hardware will control whichever plugin is active at the time, is in the front. So this means that with one small hardware keyboard, I can control all of the plugins inside Studio One. And this applies to not only the built-in PreSonus plugins, but also to any VST2 or VST3 plugin or any audio unit plugin. I can control any of my plugins from any company, any source, using one piece of hardware without needing any other software at all. It's just built into Studio One. Automation in Studio One is very simple. Uh, if I want to automate any parameter of any plugin, for example, all I have to do is move that parameter in the plugin. And when I move that, you see if I move the filter cutoff here in Mojito, it says here filter cutoff Mojito. And there's a hand here. And to, to automate that, I just grab the hand for that parameter and drag it here. And now I automatically have a filter cutoff automation track for Mojito. And if I move that knob, you'll see that the automation is moving. Same thing with my hardware. If I move it in hardware, I'll see the automation track there. So I can just record the automation while turning the knob in hardware or software. Or, of course, I can just draw on the automation. I just get my pencil tool, and I can draw on the automation, and now I have an automation track that controls the filter in my software.